Hi there everyone, I thought I would take you on a very very quick tour of my spring bowls because they are looking just beautiful and I planted 500 spring bulbs back in October time from Farmer Gracie. I've never ever ever had daffodils before so I planted 10 groups of 10 different varieties and they're beautiful and of course the beauty with daffodils is they will naturalize and they will come back every year providing that I keep the leaves cut the spent flowers off but keep the leaves that's the bit I'm not looking forward to because I don't like it looking untidy but that the leaves have to soak up the sun and put the goodness back in the bulb so you have to be patient and let it do its thing tulips on the other hand I treat as annuals and I have had um, red impressions and I had a uh, yellow emperor. Yellow emperors were very floppy, although the flowers were gorgeous. I still have orange ones ready to come up. And the bit I'm most excited about is the alliums, which won't be until May or June time. So let me just show you the quickly, the varieties of daffodils because they're beautiful. Here is the first of my daffodils. That is just a trumpet shape and it's a beautiful yellow and they are so pretty and delightful. They're moving around here. You can see all my red tulips are looking lovely. As I say, the yellow ones have gone, but look at these. These are just divine. A beautiful, double, frilly, wonderful and it's got sort of peach center i hope that's coming up nice in the picture that is very very nice and a very similar one here but more yellowy are these absolutely beautiful i'm really enjoying these Then moving on to some more frilly doubly ones. These are more white with the orange centre. They are beautiful. If we pan around, we're faced with tulips. Now these ones were the very first ones to bloom. So they're the first to go and I will deadhead them. But all I will do is take off the very tip so I'll leave all these stalks leave them to get all the goodness moving on these ones just such a happy sunny thing to open the door and there they are in the morning these are beautiful as well And it's good for me actually to see this video because it will remind me where I've planted them. So I can plant annuals over the top, but I don't want to dig up any bulbs and I don't want to plant shrubs on top of them. So they're all doing very, very well. As I say, we have these ones I haven't opened will all be orange, which I think will be very pretty. Just a few more here, this type. This one looks like it's faded a little bit. That's been very pretty. These are beautiful. So pretty. Pots. These beautiful ones are called minnow and I planted those with some pansies. Very, very pretty. Oh, I must just show you, not daffodil or tulip related, but look, I have blossoms on my Stella cherry, which I am just over the moon about. Have some more tulips in pots as well you can see how floppy the yellow ones were i've pulled most of the yellow ones out but obviously i've missed those so there we are and i have a few more in pots
that needs a bit of a tidy because they were the yellows. We have uh, drumstick alliums. These are the drumsticks, but I'm told they're quite floppy, unfortunately. These are purple sensation alliums. They will look nice. Another little planter full. This one doesn't get any sun actually. This one. And then we have these. These are the, oh, these are beautiful. So pretty. These are the double mixed. So this was a whole variety of different beauties. Oh, that's a pretty one. So it certainly filled the whole garden with wonderful colour this spring and I'm very pleased that I planted so many beautiful daffodils. Why did it take me so long to plant some? So there we are. I hope you enjoyed my very, very quick whistle stop tour. It's a Monday morning. It's about 10 past seven and I've got to go to work today. But I wish you a very, very good week, whatever you're doing and take care, have fun in your gardens. I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you for watching, bye.